We're live. Hey, everyone. Uh, I guess we're live. We're live. Fantastic. Welcome to Unboxing Art Show Episode 10 on a Sunday night and on a victorious night for the San Francisco 49ers. Uh, one in the ugliest way possible, but it doesn't matter. Yep. How about them Cowboys? Beat the Cowboys. That was our Super Bowl. Very happy. Um, and uh, I don't know if you guys watched it, but uh, I don't know. As as, uh, as exciting as football is, this is going to be even more exciting. We have eight boxes to open up. Uh, we usually open up four or five boxes. Our previous high was six boxes. And tonight, we blow that out of the water. We've got eight boxes. Uh, we will not have a uh, personal art show from my collection tonight because we have so much art, other art to show off. Uh, but we have other plans to make up for that. Don't worry. Uh, tonight it's all about these boxes of art. It's all about uh, the latest and greatest comic art from the most incredible talent uh, working today. So uh, let's get started, shall we? Let's see, who do we have in here? We have Patricia Forstner. Mandy Martin, Dylan Jacobs, Absurd 13, Matthew Todd, Coach John Collins, uh, Jamarak, Adil Adamon, Schizoid, Victor Bracamontes, Pat L, Mike Cushion, Marcus Giorgio, Marcus Way, Mike Sitchi, Bad Bear Comics, Mark V, Grant Riddle, Carl Ripsick, uh, Raj Patel, Absurd 13 again, Kevin Godfrey, Ron Lynn, Doug Fluger, Timothy Lang, Yo Curry, Misty and Christy Puckett, uh, Mike, just Mike, Anti-Hero Gallery, Brian Lake, DC Patrol, David Esconi Son, Scott Wingo, Josh Ewald, uh, Michael Nestor, SGJR002, he's, uh, he's a British secret agent perhaps, uh, E. Lee, Timothy Lang, Paolo Barbosa, Zizen Mind, uh, the Morning Shorts, Sheldon Walsh, Chris Lutz, Stacey DeLong, ML, Matt Fritas. If I missed anyone, sorry, but it's great that all of you are here. Thanks so much. Uh, uh, Ryan Souk. Ryan Souk is in the house. Uh, could uh, could one of these boxes belong to Ryan Souk? And we're going to find out. Let's start off with, uh, if you saw the picture we posted on social media and we sent out with the email, you know what the boxes look like, including this very intriguing small box. Okay, so that's a... That's a box, uh, first box we'll open up and we're going to, like you can put it next to this, uh, this is a regular FedEx size box for scale. Um, so there you go. What could be in here? Any guesses? Any guesses? Uh, let's see, we got uh, O'Malley. Aaron, Sanford Green, and right off the bat, right off the bat, and three guesses in, Mike Sitchi got it. Sanford Green, wow, that's the that's the quickest anybody's gotten it, gotten this. I think. Well, let's see what's in here. Let's see what's in here. DC Patrol guest, guest uh, Trad Moore, DWJ, 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 three DWJs in a row, Stevens. And I had to get to Marcus Way, who guessed Ingman Tot. Uh, rest in peace, Ingman Tot. A uh, fantastic character actor of uh, Hong Kong movies. Uh, Stephen Chow's sidekick, mostly, but uh, just, just a really great actor's own, right? And unfortunately passed uh, a year or so ago. Uh, one, of our, one of our favorites. Okay, let's see what we got in here. It is a large selection of books, and um, some sketch covers. So, uh, this is a selection of books that uh, 
that Sanford has sent me that we are some we're get we're going to give away as prizes and some uh, are to be sold. And here is a color sketch of cable. How cool is that? Well, that's really nice. This will be going uh, in a future uh, sketch draw. Let's take a look at some of these books. Okay, this is uh, signed and uh, remarked. This is a Fantastic Four anniversary tribute. Uh, this was the book where uh, different artists each drew a page, I believe. In any case, uh, signed by Sanford and he included this cool little thing sketch. Here's uh, Death Metal signed. Yeah, he said these covers were a little slick for him to draw on, but they're all signed. And uh, we'll be giving some of these away. Oh, A Righteous Thirst for Vengeance. Yeah, I'm not sure what uh, he had to do with this one. It's got a little, uh, it's got a signature little sketch. It's pretty cool. I actually still need to read this book. I have all of them. It's kind of intrigued by the, by the premise. But, um, okay. Oh, cool. There's uh, Batman Outsiders with a little Batman sketch. So, Mike, I still need to discuss with uh, Sanford uh, which ones I can give away, but you will be getting uh, one of these for sure. And then uh, some I think we're going to be giving away via the, uh, via the lucky draw for the site. So, everyone, check your emails. Okay. Congratulations, Mike Sitchi. All right, let's go on to uh, box number two. It's just your standard FedEx box. Any guesses? Ryan Sook. Uh, Comics Reporter says thumbs up. Uh, we have one guess, Ryan Sook from DC Patrol. Who else wants to guess? Uh, DWJ, Stegman O'Malley, GEJ, Felipe Andrade, Rosmus Stegman Heron, Otley, Green, uh, Green, uh, Tricotta, DWJ, Stevens, Eminem, DWJ, O'Malley, Bertram, DWJ, Stegman, Bertram, Sook, McLean, Sandra Ng, uh, another Hong Kong uh, character actress, comedic actress, uh, Otley, Stegman, Andrade, Bilquis, Bilquis, Huddle, Pope, DWJ, Stegman, Tricotta, Bilquis, Otley, The Man, Treadmore, Bergar, Riley, Nick Klein, Klein, Burnham. Uh, so far, nobody's gotten it yet. Nobody's gotten it yet. I might, I might have to call this one. Uh, I'm going to give you guys a clue. Uh, what I just showed, the uh, sketched comics that Mike Sitchi won a copy of, that will also be the prize for this box. So, what could, I mean, come on. That's, that's, uh, that's kind of a gimme there. Um, well, what other guesses do we have here? Uh, Bergara, Riley, Klein, Klein, Burnham, Heron, Moore, Shaw, Mooneyham, Conley, Fisher, Bergara, Pope, Darrington, Stevens, Chris Stevens, Foss, Otomo, James Jean, Conley, Pope, Stegman, Bergara, Green, Green, Green with an E. The, the other Green was G-R-E-E-N. I presume you met Stephen. Uh, this Green, uh, guessed by Timothy Lang, is G-R-E-E-N-E, -E -E, which is, of course, Sanford. Sanford, thank you. And uh, as soon as I say that, of course, Sheldon Walsh get, guesses uh, Sanford. I know you mean Sanford. Schizoid Sanford, Rob Rush Green. Now, now all the guesses have come in, but the first guy to guess correctly was uh, Timothy Lang. So let's open this up. Well, my bad, guys. It was not. Uh, it was not Sanford Green. It was Stephen Green. Yeah. My bad, guys. Uh, let's see who got Stephen Green. Well, the the person who guessed Stephen Green, which is Josh Ewald. Josh Ewald, congratulations. You got it correct. It is Stephen Green. Um, let's see what we got here. Okay, so this is. Uh, Three Worlds, Three Moons art. What is Three Worlds, Three Moons? Three Worlds, Three Moons is Jonathan Hickman's um, new comic that is distributed via his Substack 
newsletter. His collaborators are our own Mike Huddleston and also Mike Del Mundo. Um, he has other uh, artists uh, participating and contributing as well. And this is a six-page story. A uh, six-page story from Stephen. Let's check it out. Um, the last time we had Stephen's art on the show, it was for his Hellboy issue. And um, I'm happy to say for Stephen that that issue has now sold complete. I'm sorry for everyone else uh, who was uh, waiting on it, but I did say, you know, we were going to try and sell it complete, and indeed we have. Um, this art here, this six-page story, we are going to try to move complete as well. But let's, So let's check it out. Here's page one. Page two. Yeah, I've not been reading this comic, but one thing Stephen has proven uh, that he excels at is this, uh, this world building, this amazing world building. And he got to show that off on his uh, creator-owned series, Sea of Stars. Uh, if you haven't checked out Sea of Stars yet, uh, they are collected in trades now. Definitely uh, give that a look. Really fun series written by Jason Aaron, one of my uh, favorite current writers. Uh, came out through Image. And Steven is working on yet another project right now, so we should have more art from him uh, coming up later this year. So all is not lost. Boy, this is really cool. And he included this uh, pinup drawing of uh, Bulldog playing the drums. Um, you know, music is a recurring theme in Steven's art. And here you go. Uh, I'm not sure what this is for, but in all likelihood it will be in a future uh, feature like sketch type drop. Okay. All right, so uh, I said the winner was Josh Ewald, but you know what, I'm gonna give a, I'm gonna give a, a prize to Timothy Lang as well. As always, if you win a prize, email me, okay? Send me an email, uh, let me know uh, whose who's guest you got correct, and uh, I'll, I'll get you a prize, I'll send it out to you. So uh, first winner tonight was Mike Sitchi, winner of the second uh, box, Josh Ewald and Timothy Lang. Congrats, guys. Okay, um, hang on a second. We got a big box here. And uh, let's take a look at this one. This is, uh, this is a big Amazon box. You guys want to commence your guessing? Pope, Bilquis, Tradmore, DWJ. Um, C. O'Malley, DWJ, Darren Warren Jones, Dragata, Sook, Bertram Chang, Heron, Stephen, Andrade, DWJ, Dragata, Yuko, McLean, O'Malley, DWJ, Pope, Shaw, Moore, DWJ, Nick Klein, Pope, Cliff Chang, Bertram, Rosmo, Darrington, and McLean, uh, Stegman, Sook, Chang, Takara, Bertram, Otley, Green. Green with an E by the Bronverse. Yes, this was the box I thought it was opening last time. This is the guy's art I thought uh, we were going to check out last time. So the Bronverse, I don't know who you are, but shoot me an email. You won. Uh, otherwise, uh, we have Conley, Eminem, Stegman, Otley, Heron, Burnham, Shaw, Chang, Otley, Bill Tung. Um, Bill Tung is uh, another character actor. He was... Uh, um, uh, in Jackie Chan movies, usually playing Jackie Chan's uh, uh, put, up, put, put Upon uh, Superior, like the Police Story movies, Project Day, etc. Uh, Stegman, Eminem, Fleece, Stegman, Heron, Gene McLean, Love, Chang, Clang, Love, Heron, Patara, Ross, Mooneyham, Shaw, Huddleston, uh, Shimizu, Fosner, Patara, Riley, R. Heh, sweet, nice, congrats. Okay, so uh, only one person guessed it right. And that was the Bromberts. All right, a little more art in this one. Gonna get a little more bang for a buck. Very excited by this. We've opened up uh, Sanford's art one time before on the show. 
They were all covers, which we dropped during uh, New York Felix Con a couple months ago. Everything sold. I've been waiting on getting some more cool art from Sanford since. And here we go. All right. A lot of, a lot of, uh, a lot of extra protection in here. Always appreciate it. We've got bubble wrap, some extra cardboard. Here's some more here. Okay. Really chock full of cardboard. Let me make sure I get everything. There's some more right here. Wow, that's a lot of art, guys. We're gonna get quite a show from Sanford today. Okay. Side, I think that's it. Wow, a lot of art from Sanford. Thank you, Sanford. If you are in the audience, Sanford, thank you. Not sure if Sanford's a cowboy fan, in which case he's probably, uh, it's probably going to be a long night for him. But if Sanford is here, great job, Sanford. I've been waiting for this. Okay, let's check out this art here first. And um, I believe, I believe this is his Justice League art. So Sanford, and there's a lot of pages here. Uh, Sanford got personally recruited by the writer Brian Michael Bendis, uh, DC's, probably DC's biggest writer. I mean, it was a big deal when he moved over from Marvel to DC. He got personally recruited by uh, Brian Michael Bendis to collaborate on a Justice League annual. So there are going to be a lot of costumes, a lot of superheroes um, in this art, which is pretty dang exciting. So let's take a look. This must be the cover. And uh, who do we got represented here? I mean, we got like the whole gang. That's Soups, Wonder Woman front and center, Batman, Black Canary, Green Arrow. You got Green Lantern there. You got Hawkwoman. You got the Flash, Shazam. I see Power Girl, uh, Aquaman, and uh, Plastic Man, and on and on. I mean, this is a uh, boom. That's a Justice League cover. And we move. I'm not sure if this is in order. If this is sequential order, but let's let's just check it out. I don't think it even matters. I mean, it, if this is how the issue opens up with this unbelievable double page spread of uh, OMAC, then uh, I can't wait to pick this up from the shop. Look at that. Yep, OMAC battle scene. Well, this is a surprise. OMAC, of course, is not a member of the Justice League, so yeah, I cannot wait to read this. And look at this. Uh, I know technically this isn't a splash page, but it's like a splash page. I mean, you have these floating panels, but yeah, that's great. I mean, I love all this tech back here. And uh, Wonder Woman and Aquaman. this is another double page splash indeed it is welcome back diana and uh here's omac apparently crashing the party sanford green in the house Who's in the house? Sanford Green in the house. Sanford Green's in the house? Oh, hey, Sanford. We got two pros. We got Ryan Sook and Sanford Green. Sanford, we're opening up your art. We're checking it out. Everyone's enjoying it. And this book is out on the stands, so there are no spoilers here. And if it uh, if it isn't, don't tell anyone. This is 100% Sanford Green Art, guys. Pencils and inks. And what inks? And uh, each page is completely finished. Like you can see, he applies all the 
the white paint and the, the splatter effects. And nothing is uh, left to digital. Um, so, you know, of course, quite famously, famously by now, the one guy on our team who set out to uh, uh, capture the collector market and capture the, the hearts of collectors uh, by completely finishing his art was uh, Nick Klein. And, you know, you guys have responded. Uh, every single page from his throw run so far has sold because uh, the art is just gorgeous. But I will have to say that I believe Sanford is giving Nick Klein a run for his money here. You know, the reality is that, um, well, the comic book medium is a collaborative effort. And given uh, how comics are distributed, uh, how we consume them, you know, they're on a monthly schedule. Uh, the truth is that artists, you know, generally have to work with inkers to make sure everything gets out on time. Um, but as collectors, generally speaking, and there are Pestler inker teams that um, are absolutely fantastic, don't get me wrong, but we really do like it when one guy is able to do it all. And I know Sanford worked a long time on this issue. This is not a regular monthly book. Uh, he toiled on this thing for months and it's all evident here. I mean, look at this splash page. You know, Sanford and I sort of, uh, sort of talked, have talked about this. He's, he, he is a veteran artist. He's been around a while, uh, but he's been a little bit, uh, under the radar as far as uh, collectors are concerned. Well, when you draw like this, when you produce art like this, uh, that's gonna change. And we will be dropping all these pages coming right up. So if you are in the audience right now and you are not on my mailing list yet, you need to sign up for it. Mailing list slash newsletter, just go to my uh, website, felixcomicart.com. On the home page, scroll down to the bottom, enter in your email address, and you are good to go. Boy, splash pages galore in this issue. You know, one thing you can already see Stanford does really well is uh, a lot of very expressive faces. I mean, look at that. You know, boy, each of these pages fully finished. Look at the, the wash. Oh, just crazy. Yeah, I feel like uh, Sanford said to Nick Klein, "Hold my beer." Great stuff, great, great stuff, Sanford. And another splash page. This is, uh, this is gonna be, this is gonna be a pretty good sized drop, guys. We're not splitting this issue up. We're not, uh, you know, letting in anyone cherry pick these pages ahead of time. Every single page will be available at the drop. And this is a serious drop. Another double page splash. I'm going to leave it here for a second while I review the comments. Uh, yes, this will be an art drop because we do art drops. No art trips, just drops. Uh, cool, I see. Uh, all right, Jersey Lambos in the house. Hey, Jersey Lambo. How about them Cowboys? Ryan Sook's a fan. This stuff is gorgeous. Now, people, you guys really like this cover. Go Niners. You know, uh, this was, this was it for me. This was our Super Bowl as far as I'm concerned. Jersey Lambo, go anyone who plays the Cowboys. That's how I feel. I feel that way about the Yankees and Dodgers as well. Um, right. Okay, you guys are all in, uh, enjoying this work. Awesome. And 
this thing is like a this is like a forty something page monster here, guys. And it's like it's like battles galore. Cannot ask for much more in a Justice League annual. Well, that's a pretty cool outfit. Looks like an armored outfit. Oh, of course, a, uh, a callback to Raven Bold. Uh, was it 28? First appearance of Justice League. That's a cool panel. And here we go. Final page. Team shot at the top. All right, let's go back. I'm gonna leave it on what is still my, I think my favorite piece of the whole issue. I still this OMAC double page splash that we open up with. Um, yeah, there you go. Let's see what else you guys have to say here. Uh, I also should tell you that uh, I don't think I'm really giving anything away because I think I mentioned this before and I think it's actually been revealed. Uh, Stanford is going to, is one of the key artists on the new Spider-Verse flick with Miles Morales and Gwen uh, across the Spider-Verse was coming out uh, toward the end of the year. Um, we've already seen one of his uh, art pieces in the trailer. He did the, uh, the comic book art, uh, but he's got a lot more coming out. And there's nothing bigger than Spider-Man and Spider-Verse right now, and 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 even Miles and Gwen, and uh, we've, we we we're going to have that art, all the art that Sanford's doing for the movie. Uh, so if you are a fan, uh, there aren't too many opportunities to get art from the Spider-Verse films, but you're going to get official art, including art that shows up in the movie from us uh, when the movie comes out. So just remember that. Very exciting stuff from Sanford. All right, let's uh, let's move on to his let's move on to his uh, this little more art from Sanford. We're not done yet. You thought that that giant issue, that awesome issue of Justice League was that would have been enough, except no. Got, got more art from Sanford. Let's let's, uh, let's open this puppy up. This is great. This might be my favorite Sanford piece ever. It's a uh, Black Manta cover. And Sanford, you destroyed the wash on this thing. It's gorgeous. I actually appreciate super well done wash like this more than screen tones. I mean, yeah, screen tones are very popular and and uh, no question, uh, our group was the one that pop has popularized in the last few years. But traditional art on paper like this, oh, that's, that, that really does it for me. Great job, Sanford. Here uh, looks like another Black Manta cover. Um, these covers will be uh, featured in an upcoming uh, cover drop, which I am setting up now. We have done uh, cover drops for San Diego Felix Con, New York Felix Con is one of our, uh, you know, we have uh, one day dedicated to nothing but covers, 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 and they're uh, amongst our most successful drops of the year. Uh, but I have been stockpiling some amazing covers, including these that you're looking at now um, that are going to be available for a cover drop that I'm hoping we'll be able to do in the next, within the next uh, couple weeks before the end of the month. If not, it'll be in February. But, oh, wow. The 
I'm not sure what this is. I think this is one of the milestone books, but it's great. Oh, look at this uh, X-Men page. Or is this for the Fantastic Four tribute? Anyway, I'll get clarification with Stanford. It's a killer page no matter what. First X-Men team versus Mole Man. Another cover. Oh, Mysterio. I'm not sure what this is right now. Oh, can I show this? I'm not sure. Sorry, Stanford, if I wasn't supposed to show that. Uh, and uh, this uh, 90s X-Men guy whose, whose name I can't remember. You, you guys know. You guys know in the uh, you guys know in the chat. Wow, what's his name? Uh, God, he's, I think, what was, what was it? I think maybe Will Spartacio drew him. Anyway. Bishop. Okay, thank you, Padel. It's Bishop. And thank you, Sanford. What an awesome show. I, an entire Justice League issue. And uh, look at all these awesome covers. If you're on our mailing list, you will have first shot. Okay. Let's... Uh... All right. Second box. <clears throat> Let the guessing commence. I mean, this this should be a clue. We, you're looking at this uh, box should should give, give you some clue. Okay, we have uh, Billquist, DWJ, Billquist, Andrade, Tricotta, Matias Pope. Uh, Takara, Andrade, Moore, Bertrand, DWJ, Decline, Sook, Heron, Heron, Otley, Steven, Takara, Bergara, Hung, Dragada, Otley, McLean, Stevens, Fisher, Moore, Shimizu, Patara, DWJ, O'Malley, McLean, Bilquis, Sook, Bilquis, Pope, Shaw, Klein, Otomo, Brazilian Post. Matt Frieda saw that Brazilian Post. Um, I'm going to tell you it is not uh, Bilquis, who is. Uh, one of our great artists from Brazil, um, but that should provide you a clue. Batara, Stegman, Bilquis, Bergara, Chang, Bergara, O'Malley, Bergara, Clayton Farrell. No. Mooneyham, Bergara, Shemigus, Bilquis, O'Malley, Bertram, Gene, Shaw, Heron, Foss, Green. Nobody's gotten it so far. Andrade, Rick Yankowski says it's from Brazil. Yes, it is. DWJ, Andrade, Takara, Felipe. Now, if you guys have been watching the show, you guys uh, should know. And we have a winner. Uh, Morgan Social Guest Mayor. This is indeed from J.P. Mayer, who is Ryan Stegman's uh, inker. And uh, congrats, Morgan. Uh, we are going to send you a signed uh, Stanford Green comic. You are winner of a signed Stanford Green comic. You are our, what, fourth or fifth winner tonight. So congrats to you. Um, it's because you have paid attention. If you watch this show regularly, uh, it'll pay off because you'd recognize this yellow packaging. You know it's from Brazil, et cetera, et cetera. And uh, you're going to see that JP's packing is very meticulous and it's kind of a pain. But I'm never going to complain about it because as long as the art gets here, like in great shape, that's all that matters. Definitely prefer like overpacking to underpacking. Take your hat. See, he actually concocts this uh, outer cardboard part of the package, and then he wraps it up in that yellow like butcher paper type paper. Um, and then inside is the styrofoam that he sandwiches the art in. So these are tend to be the more complex packages to open. It's not like just that pull tab for a FedEx box. So for you ASMR people, this is it. This is it for you now. Enjoy. Okay. Not good for the environment, but you know, but, uh, we're, we're pretty good otherwise. So forgive them for that. And um, J.P. Mayer is Ryan Stegman's inker. And what I said earlier that, you know, 
we do like it when the artists you know, can pencil and ink everything themselves, but then there are exceptions. There are exceptions, and this would be one of them. I think the Stegman Mayor team is, uh, it's shaping up to be an all-timer. Like, uh, basically, like, uh, Burn Austin or Bissette Toddleben or Jim Lee Scott Williams. It's, it's, it may be one of those. So let's see what we got here. Okay, um, this, I am sure, is a cover for Vanish. And what is Vanish? Vanish is Ryan Stegman and uh, Donnie Cates' new creator-owned comic that'll be coming out through Image. It's first being uh, shared through their Substack newsletter, so make sure you sign up for that. But uh, it will also be coming out through Image for everyone else, and I am certain it will be It'll, it, it, is, it is almost certain to be Image's biggest book of the year. I mean, there's almost no question about it. And look at this. this uh, if you follow uh, the Kate's oeuvre and, and the work he's done with our other artists, and you know what that is, that's Valofax, the sword from God Country, which has uh, made an appearance now in Crossover, and it looks like uh, it's going to show up and vanish, too. I, hopefully this wasn't a spoiler. There you go. This is a Sabretooth cover. You can see Sabretooth back here. Uh, I think this is, this might be My Hero Academia, but I'm not 100% sure. Ready to but it's cool. And the one thing you always appreciated about JP is he takes no shortcuts. I mean, he, inks everything to the nth degree. And you gotta appreciate that kind of effort. Uh, here's a Wolverine cover. Aha. Okay, so we opened up a Ryan Stegman box an episode or two ago and there was this Ghost Rider double page splash. I've been waiting for the inks and here you go guys. Here you go. Uh, you have all of them here, including the Robbie Reyes Ghost Rider. You got Cosmic Ghost Rider. You got all the Ghost Riders here. Uh, enjoy that. I'm going to get caught up on the comments. Brian Lake guess Stegman's Inker. I would have taken that, Brian, but uh, Morgan beat you to it. Also, uh, Mike Snitzer guest Stegman via J.P. Mayer. Yeah, I would have taken that too. Marcus Way guest Hoist Gracie, probably because of Brazil. I guess he's moving on from Hong Kong uh, supporting actors to MMA now. Vincent Hilton says, Vanish rules. So Vincent, I'm guessing you are a subscriber to um, Ryan's Substack and you've been seeing the stuff they've been sharing. Uh, it does look great. It really, What it really is, is um, it's his spawn. Okay. Yeah, so, uh, ooh, what's this? Anything uh, Stegman Venom people are going to go crazy for. And we got Venom here. We got Scream. And here's a, I'm not sure which, this is another Venom. I'll find out from Ryan exactly what this is. But uh, yeah, there you go. Oh, look at that. Look at that Wolverine cover. Oh yeah, these are like, uh, I think it's either front and back cover or they're uh, like two sister covers, brother covers, however you want to term, term them. Yeah, they're, you see they're mirror image of each other. That's hecka cool. And 
uh, this this is uh, Hulk versus Thor. So if you follow the news, you'll know that Marvel just announced a mini Hulk versus Thor. Um, there, Thor uh, with Nick Klein and Donny Cates is uh, super super hot for Marvel, and now the new Ryan Otley. Donny Cates Hulk is also super, super hot. So, of course, they're going to put them together in their own mini. Uh, it should be very exciting. Who's going to win, Hulk or Thor? I guess we'll find out. Okay, you guys enjoy that. Let me check out the comments. All right. There we go. You know what? Why don't we take one last look at that? Uh, well, enjoy that, but... Uh, this thing, this thing. Let me just feast your eyes on that. This is um, this is the ultimate Ghost Rider piece. So if you love Ghost Rider, I don't think he gets any better than this by any artist, quite frankly. So actually, beyond this, um, I have some other Stegman covers, which will either go into our all cover drop, or if I have enough. Stegman covers to do his uh, own dedicated drop. Um, I will, uh, but not 100% sure yet. Just follow us uh, on our newsletter. Uh, all will be revealed soon enough. Okay, let's move on to our next package. This is uh, a package that's all wrapped in butcher paper. And at the top, this says, now, Dobrar, do not fold. I'm not sure what language that is. It seems vaguely Spanish, but it uh, could be Portuguese. And what country, uh, what country does that sound like? All right, we have uh, Dragada, Bilquis, Green, Otley, Bilquis, Sook, Takara, Steven, Sook, uh, Ideal Alamon, congrats. You are the winner of a Sanford Green comic book signed by Sanford. And it is indeed Takara. Um, he went with the clues. I mean, this is a package from overseas. A little Portuguese on top. Probably came from Brazil. Uh, we had a lot of Bilquis guesses, which was not bad. But if it's not Bilquis, it's probably Marcio Takara, the latest artist to join Felix Comic Garden. He joined us uh, around October time when I was able to add him to the site. Very patiently waited for there to be an opening. And I always appreciate an artist can be patient. So thank you, Marcio. It's fantastic to have you on board. Um, our first, our first uh, um, art for Marcio was uh, Justice League Dark. Also, he did a uh, short Wonder Woman story. And as well, um, he did Spawn for Todd McFarlane. Todd personally asked him to draw issue number one of King Spawn and then uh, the Spawn Universe. Uh, but he has been named the regular artist for DC's Wonder Woman. And we're going to get to see some Wonder Woman art, guys. DC actually gave him his pick of characters and... Uh, he got offered some pretty big characters. I don't think I can reveal which characters just yet. I, you know, maybe he eventually gets to them. But uh, very nice to have that option. And uh, he went with Wonder Woman, which is, you know, one of the big three for DC. So it's just about as big as it gets. A plum gig. Okay, we got uh, we got two issues here. Let's take a look. to show both, so I'm going to show both. Hang on a second. Let's set this aside. All right, this is... Uh, here we go, guys. 
Wonder Woman 781, which I believe is Marcia's very first issue. Uh, he did do the uh, short story for the Wonder Woman uh, 80th anniversary special, or the 75th, whatever it was. It was a giant size uh, DC special, and he got to contribute an uh, eight page story. Um, so we had that art available. It's awesome. And you can see uh, Marcio is one of the artists who pencils and inks his own art. So you are getting 100% Marcio Takara art. I'm guessing that's Diana. And boom. There we go. First big Wonder Woman page. Gotta love, love those faces there. DC Patrol says that was a really good issue. Cool, you got to read it already. The other character is, uh, according to the comments, Dr. Psycho. Let's go back to an earlier page real quick. And yeah, that is a great face. The art is just so clean, guys. And what I love about Marcio's work is that it is uh, entirely distinctive. And uh, like all the art we've seen so far, instantly recognizable as a particular artist's work. Our own Ryan Sook uh, says, Marcia is such a great artist and great for Wonder Woman. Uh, high praise coming from Ryan, who does a fantastic Wonder Woman himself. Man, I love that. Look at that hair. Ooh, something's happened to, uh, to our Wonder Woman here. Fires a bullet into Wonder Woman. She shatters like glass. And you can see all the shards, the individual, sh individual shards. God, I appreciate the work that goes into these things. page got a whole load of Wonder Woman here all right what do you guys have to say uh, that guy is dead man by the way okay thank you DC patrol great details shelves and windows and such yep yep cool all right let's go on to the next issue Picking up uh, right where we left off. We're on the plane. This plane's getting attacked by uh, some crazy wonder women. She's getting punched and shatters into shards like we saw before. Um, it's all action, but enter Probably the real deal, our heroine. 
That's a great page, for sure. And here's another one. work here in his sleeve. Just gorgeous stuff. Transitioning to a different environment there in the snow. She retrieves a sword almost. Uh, well, she didn't retrieve a sword. She plunges it into the ground. I was going to say this is a little Excalibur ish kind of scene. Yeah, we've had some uh, great artists work on Wonder Woman from our group, most notably Cliff Chang, uh, also uh, Ryan Sook, and now uh, joining that esteemed company, Marcio Takara. And this is going to be a fun run for sure. Wow. That's a beautifully composed page. I can... I can really see the, the ink that's been applied there. All right, what have we, what have we got here? Um, uh, he nailed She Spawn. He did, that She Spawn art from the Spawn Universe uh, book was great. It's just pretty much all sold. Uh, Stanley asks, any thoughts on the Secret Wars 8 sale? Yes, I actually have a lot of thoughts. It's been the hot topic of discussion amongst collectors uh, since it went down last week or a few days ago. Um, I might hold an online chat. And we can talk all about that uh, maybe tomorrow, Martin Luther King Day. You guys have the day off. Uh, you guys feel like joining me for a chat? We can talk all about that. Marvin Lewis has checked the small box Felix. I'm not sure what that means. But in terms of uh, checking and clicking things, please hit that like button. Everyone, please hit your uh, like button on the screen. Thank you. Morning Short says, I really like seeing all this art. I haven't been to too many streams, but I like them all. Thank you, Morning Shorts, and you can still get caught up on them because they are saved on the channel. Okay, everyone's talking about the small box, which I think is refers to the uh, first box, which was Sanford Green's box. And yes, indeed, there are a couple of bonus pieces in there. Uh, let's check it out. Here they are. More Sanford Green, just like the Sanford Green episode. Look at these beautiful color sketches. Puck. Wow. Etrigan the Demon. So just like how I'm setting up a um, all cover drop, I may be doing an all sketch drop a la San Diego Felix Con and New York Felix Con um, too. So we'll see. Spectre. It's great. And I'm not sure what character that is, sorry. Let's go back to Puck. Great Puck, yeah. This one's probably my favorite. Etrigan the Demon.
Wow, a lot of Puck fans. Uh, you guys are down for the chat. Okay, cool. I'm going to try to set that up. Um, got a little surprise for you, too. There's going to be a podcast coming out. There is a podcast coming out in which we do talk about um, the big crazy heritage sale. So look for that soon. Bob Grace says, Sanford asked you to check the small box. Well, we did, Sanford. We, we rescued this art. Puck, a lot of Puck fans. Holy cow, that etcher gun. Yep. Love the demon. Gotta love the demon. Moon Dragon. Thank you, guys. Thank you for that. And thank you, Sanford. Great pieces. All right. On to our next uh onto our next package this is uh this is like a box that's been flattened um that gives you an idea it's got a nice weight to it there's there's gonna be don't let this uh flat appearance deceive you there's gonna be a good amount of art in here hefty what we got here we got uh shuk nope not shuk uh otley Persis Kambata, who was the bald chick from uh, Star Trek, the motion picture. Suk, Suk, Shaw, DWJ, O'Malley, Pope, Huddleston, Green Heron. Someone guessed this person earlier. Someone did guess this person earlier. Um, Heron, DHW. Don't know who that is, but uh, I think I know who you mean. Suk, Stevens, Conley, Pope, Stegman, Klein, McLean, Bertram, Stegman, Fisher, Stevens, Love, uh, Steel. Oh, socks. I'm going to, you know, a lot of you guys are guessing the same names with each, uh, with each box, uh, and you will eventually be right. Um, I'm going to save you from the Fisher guess, Steel Oh, socks. Uh, we, there will be no more art from Seth Fisher. All the art that we've had has been put up, and anything that's left on the site will be returned to the family soon enough. Uh, in case you guys are wondering, anybody's wondering what I'm talking about, uh, back around uh, 2017, 2018, we started selling um, Seth Fisher's art on behalf of his family. Seth Fisher was an amazing artist who unfortunately passed away very young in 2006. His family has held on to his art uh, this entire time and we sold it on behalf of the family, uh, all proceeds going to his uh, wife and son. Uh, but we did have our last sale, last drop of this art, of his art last year and uh, we will not be getting any more. Okay, Stevens, love. Um, Jersey Lambo says, who boy, Gene Park on the latest heritage. That's a must listen, fellas. Yeah, Jersey Lambo had a, a little inside scoop there. Uh, I was I was trying to uh, rope in Jersey Lambo to do my podcast with our main guest, Gene Park, in which we talk about specifically G.I. Joe 21. So that's a sneak preview for you guys. But uh, Lambo, Lambo politely declined because he was... Uh, He's too nice. He said, I'm going to be busting Gene's balls too much. And yeah, okay. Uh, but, you know, that would have been fun too, Lambo. We can still do that. And Gene's a good sport. Steel of Socks guesses Olaf. Nope. Klein, Pope, Shaw, O'Malley, Dragata, Wong Jing for Markets. We have Wong Jing, a very prolific uh, uh, director and producer. Uh, probably most famous for God of Gamblers. Great movie. Uh, Bergara, Pitara, Chang, DWJ, Bergara, Otteson, Rossmo, Evely, Klein, McLean, Dragata, Bergara, Gene O'Malley. Bertram, Conley, Eminem, Andrade, Dragata, Foss, Stevens, Foss, Rosmo. I'm about to throw in the towel here, guys. Uh, Chang, Olive, Darrington, Andrade, Bertram. Nope, nope, nope. Shaw, Otomo, Shimizu, Andrade, Patara, Chad Moore. No sh Shimizu, Patara, Gene Moore. Guys, pay attention to the guesses. Don't keep guessing the same names over and over again, please. Uh, McLean. Uh, so a lot of uh, a lot of incorrect guesses. Goseki, Kojima, Dylan Huber. I don't know. Following Marcus Way and trying to be funny. Uh, Stegman, Andrade, Cosmic, and Odyssey pages. Nope. Um, Nick Darrington, Trish Forstner. That's an interesting guess. Klein, Klein. Lee Parman says, I was lucky enough to get one of the snow pages. You were very lucky, Lee. Congratulations. Um, hey, hey, folks from Tyler Bentz. How you doing, Tyler? Mooneyham, um, DWJ, McLean, LOL. God, you guys, you guys had guessed, the sad thing is you guys had guessed this earlier. And um, I'm 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 gonna I'm gonna call it I'm gonna call it. It is I'm gonna call it. Well, you know what? You guys can keep guessing while I open this. Yeah, 
man. I wasn't kidding, guys. There's a lot of art in here. It's a book. Wow. Ugh. A lot of art in here. It's all sealed up. This bag. It's a big garbage bag. Just rip it up. Alan Moore. Not Alan Moore, Dylan. Burnham, oh, no, Shimizu, Darrington, Craig, Bertram, Eminem. Nope. Nope. Finally, nope. You, someone had guessed this way early for someone else. But interestingly enough, uh, not again. All right, let's take a look. Actually, let me take a peek. I think some of this stuff I can't show, guys. Sorry. Some I can. All right, I'm just going to I'm gonna show the art and first person to... Uh, Name the artist, going to win a prize. Kind of a mercy prize. There you go. There you go. Who's going to get it? Conley, Wally Wood, Lisa uh, Rosmo, Riley. Oh, boy. JKZ8 with the winner, Burnham, indeed, Chris Burnham. Look at this giant stack of Chris Burnham art. Haven't had art from Chris in a, in a while, but he's been stockpiling it. And here we go. This will be fun. And this is a really cool cover, Batman versus Penguin. You know, riding his uh, rocket-powered penguins versus Batman and his bats. Gotta love that. I believe this will be a cover. Okay, uh, so Ryan did a all Alfred story, which has been announced, but he says I can't show all of it just yet. So, wow, this is, uh, this is a big fat story. Okay, I'm gonna break it up here. We're gonna get this whole issue is. Yeah, um, the multi-chapter Alfred story. Okay, sorry guys, uh, not allowed to show everything per Chris. And you can see it's, this is how much of the Alfred is Alfred story. It's like several chapters worth of worth of art. I'll show the first page. And he knocked himself out on the first page. I don't know how closely you can look at this panel here, especially. Fully finished. Just packed with uh, detail. So, all you Alfred fans out there, this is, uh, this is for you. And uh, let's see, this is called Gotham City Villains. Some kind of anniversary cover. All right, let's uh, see what you guys got to say. Congrats to Jason. Yes, congrats. Congrats, Jason. Let's see, Damien had guessed Burnham. Did you really, Damien? Did I miss that uh, this round? Well, uh, Damien, no, I look like uh, Damien guessed Entrati, guessed Leslie. McLean, Moore, Batara, Shimizu Otomo, Olaf, Stevens, Conley, Evely, Chang, Klein, Love Stevens, Pope. I'm I'm sorry, I don't see uh, Damien's guess for for Conley. First one I see is uh, is Jason, but if I'm mistaken, shoot me an email and I'll double check the comments. But for right now, Jason is the winner. Congrats, Jason. Yeah, I don't see it. Uh, I don't see it in my queue. But if it's there, it's there. Congrats to uh, congrats to Damien. If you beat Jason, 
Jason, I'll still send you something. Don't worry. All right, let's take a look at uh, what else we got. Uh, what else we got from the Burnham? All right. This is a giant pile. It's a car, but you know what? I think there's another piece here. I don't want to miss. Don't want to, don't want to miss this. Ooh, look at that! Looks like uh, Deathstroke. This is an homage to the uh, very famous Mike Zek Deathstroke cover. Uh, Mike Zek, the artist of the most expensive comic book art page ever sold, 3.36 million. Last week at Heritage, Secret Wars eight cover. Featuring a black costume Spidey. It's not even the first appearance. I'm not sure the uh, person who got it knew exactly what he was getting, but uh, congrats to him, I guess. So here we got uh, Chris Burnham's take on that. All right, and here we have uh, another killer cover Batman versus Darkseid. And, okay, this was a Justice League story that uh, also not really supposed to show, but uh, what the hell, enjoy that page, look at that page. All right, DC not quite as uh, crazy about this as, uh, Disney is, so forgive me. Better ask for uh, forgiveness than permission, right guys? Uh, this is kind of cool. I can only show you the first page of this, but um, this is for a Garth Ennis comic, a war anthology that will be coming out. And Chris Burnham has uh, drawn a Garth Ennis story for a new war comic. And if you are a Garth Ennis fan, if you're a hardcore Garth Ennis fan, as I am, then you know that his war stories are probably amongst his best works. Um, a guy is, uh, uh, he, he obviously loves history and is a, is a ardent student of history and uh, really comes through in the writing. And I think it's some of his strongest materials. I cannot wait to read uh, the new war comic. Um, but unfortunately, I cannot show you too much of that right now per Chris. But boy, this is great. Um, I highly recommend you guys look up... Uh, Garth Ennis uh, War Comics, if you can find the trades. The first ones that came out were, it's called War Stories through Vertigo. Uh, then I think it's uh, different publishers have put out, um, you know, War Stories from from uh, Garth. Um, I think Dynamite, I think Avatar's put out some. But in any case, definitely check them out. All right. All right, next box, guys. Oh, boy. This is a biggie. This is a big one. Um, apparently, uh, this box uh, originally housed a wok, a 12-inch carbon steel wok. All right, let, it, let the guessing begin. Otley, DWJ, Green, Page, O'Malley, Stevens, Regatta, Sook, Sook, Pope, Stevens, Patara, Bergara, Heron, Fleeks, and Forstner, Bilquist, uh, Chang. Chang, we got a winner. We got a winner. Perger, double zero. Perger, uh, Perger, double zero. Type in your names. So I know who you are. Uh, you are the winner. Fisher, Shaw, Rosmo. Boy, Steel, Osox, you really, you, you just won't give up on Fisher. Oh, good, you know. What else can I say? Uh, Rosmo Klein. Those pans are great, by the way. Uh, from Pat L. Pat L. endorses the pan. Uh, Pope, McLean, Sheree Chung. I had to get to that. Sheree Chung, one of my favorite all-time Hong Kong actresses. Uh, and one of my all-time favorite Hong Kong movies, Peking Opera Blues. Highly recommend you guys look that up. Uh, Chang, Andrade, Casey, Andre, Guest Chang. Uh, but you were beaten by Perger, double zero. Okay. 
Cordier Double Sierra says, it's the walk that gave it away. I don't know, that's, a, that's, that's vaguely racist, maybe? Maybe? I'm not going to make a fuss about it, Perjures Double Zero, but uh, tell me who you are. Write your name. I'm not a big fan of the aliases, I'll, I'll be quite honest. You can choose to do that, but uh, type in your name. I'll also, t I'll also just might as well say it. Uh, if you are on my shit list and, and you win, you will not be getting a prize. How do you make my shit list? Uh, by being a flake, wasting my time. And yes, I actually do keep a shit list. All right. But uh, I think everyone in the chat's been, been very good. 99% of you guys are just fine. No, no problem. But yes, there are, there are some people who have earned their way onto a shit list. Wow, this is, uh, this is quite the package. Is, uh, this rivals Sanford, Sanford's packing uh, for, for padding. Let me see if I can pull some stuff out. Hang on. Okay, so boxes. Wow. Aw, look at this. Oh, I'm so happy for this. This really makes me happy. Signed copies of Cliff's Catwoman, Lonely City number one. Fort Felix, Cliff Chang. One and two. Let's take a look at this. This is uh, Cliff's freaking masterpiece. If you haven't checked it out yet, you must. Uh, first two issues have hit the stands. And those of you who have uh, picked it up will concur. An amazing read, just excellent read. And it's the large uh, black label format and Cliff takes full advantage of the format. I mean, he packs so much art onto each page and the original art is all oversized. I think uh, the original is actually like uh, it's like 211 by 17 boards, if I remember correctly, Cliff telling me. I mean, he's giving this thing his all. Uh, regarding the original art, I have some bad news for collectors. I'm sorry. Um, you know, Cliff uh, has been very, very generous. He's always made his art available. And we've sold so much of his art, like just about all his paper girls art, etc. He really doesn't keep anything for himself. Uh, but this project is very special for him because it's, it's his first major project that he's doing solo. And that's the other thing, too. Um, we knew the art was going to be killer. But, you know, I'm always a little skeptical when uh, artists decide to write. You, you know, you want to give them uh, give them a little leeway. You're forgiving for their early efforts, especially. Well, Cliff just nails this thing, like, right off the bat. I don't know how he does it. He's had this... You know, who knew that he was such a great writer? Yeah, yes, he's a great writer. Not a great writer for an artist. He's a great writer, period, just based off these two issues. Um, he just he just nails it all. You know, the dialogue and the uh, characters, characterization is usually the toughest part. Plotting, plotting not so hard. But uh, getting all the nuances of the script down? I mean, where did, where did he, where did this come from? Uh, absolutely floored. Uh, but uh, back to the original art, his plan is to leave it all for his son. Um, I love this coloring and the layouts. It's, uh, you know, of course, when you see um, Catwoman, Batman here, and uh, Gotham City Police Department, you, 
and especially this uh, color scheme, it immediately brings to mind year one. This is sort of uh, Cliff's take on the whole, you know, what Dark Knight started, you know, the old man version of the characters, and this is the old lady version. This is, uh, you know, you have old man Logan, this is old lady Catwoman, but old lady Catwoman still, still kicks ass. And issue two, as it turns out, is the key issue of the run. It will probably go down as a uh, as a modern key, and uh, not the least of which is because check that out there, check that out there. Take a good close look. Hey Lambert, Selena, that exchange there uh, is the first full appearance appearance of Lambert Shang in DC continuity. And what have we here as we flip a page? Uh, this character says, you remember my brother Felix, right? He handles our semiconductor business in Taipei. Lambert runs to plastics and we assemble it all here. Uh, this character, this very handsome character says, oh, hey, Selena. And the character next to him is his, uh, uh, his trusty pal, Yams. And this is the first appearance of Felix and Yams in DC continuity. And uh, I can reveal to you now that there have been uh, some high level discussions that this may turn out to be the first appearance of the Asian Batman, the Asian Nightwing, and the Asian Alfred in DC continuity. Um, we shall see. You guys got to pick up issue three, but if you haven't picked up issue two yet, grab it, CGC it. It's going to be worth, it's going to be worth uh, six million dollars especially if you get our signatures. Uh, and I should also tell you that yes, um, in addition to Cliff, I will be available with Lambert and Yams for signings. And it'll, your book will be even more valuable, probably worth $10 million with our signatures. So look for that coming up. Thank you, Cliff. It is our absolute honor uh, to be introduced into DC by you. Thank you. Let's take a look at this. Oh, uh, he sent me, he sent me this Paper Girls, sent me this giant Paper Girls volume, the complete story. This is beautiful. I love these things, even though I have them like every format. But uh, this is the entire story in one volume, Paper Girls, which will be coming out from Amazon uh, in the near future. Um, very exciting. Uh, you know, I give away... Uh, Brian K. Vaughn's uh, Why the Last Man Saga to people who aren't um, comic book fans necessarily. And uh, they've been great gateways to, uh, to, to new fans for new readers. And this is going to join them. Thank you. Thank you, Cliff. Oh, look at this. For Kaya. Girls rule, boys drool. Cliff Chang. For Kaya. Kaya is, uh, Kaya is my daughter. Thank you, Cliff. She will love this. Very, very nice of you, Cliff. Ooh, another big fatty. Uh, Wonder Woman hardcover. Cliff, no way. Uh, what were you saying earlier? Uh, we've had some uh, key Wonder woman artists uh, in our group, and none more key than Cliff Chang. And here we go. The Cliff Chang uh, Wonder Woman omnibus. This thing's huge. And for Kaya, you are a wonder. Cliff Chang, Cl Cliff, you're bringing a, a cheer to mind. Thank you. I, uh, I don't know what to say. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Wow, she's going to love this. Yes, my daughter is now getting into comic books. She actually really enjoys comics. We have a new generation of fans. All right. Uh, you know what? I haven't even taken a look at the art yet, have we? Just been admiring the books and the uh, the first appearance of Asian Batman, Nightwing, and Alfred. So we almost forgot the art. How do we do that? Let's take a look. All right. You know what? I'm going to just... This is... Uh, this is obviously a Paper Girls... Um, 
piece that's uh, the character Mac, and she's reading X-Men Giant Size Annual. And uh, if I recognize that cover, I believe that's an Art Adams cover. Oh, that's great. Here we go. DC uh, Festival of Heroes. And I believe this uh, issue was dedicated to Asian heroes. Um, it's a pinup, uh, but I love it. Uh, looks to me like uh, New York Chinatown, so I'm going to guess that was Cliff's reference, Cliff being a, a New Yorker and all. And, oh boy, guys, oh boy. Hang on a second. You know what? I'm going to show you something else first. Um, this is a... Uh, I'm going to have to ask Cliff, Cliff exactly what this was used for, but this is really cool. This is called Oh No, and it's a play on the classic Walt uh, Kelly pogo strip. And um, I'm guessing this has to do with uh, uh, the environment. And it ends with uh, the classic, a play on the classic pogo line. We have met the enemy and they is you. Yep. I'll find out from Cliff exactly what this was used for, but um, yeah, good stuff here, Cliff. And finally, this is the big one, guys. This is the big one. Look at this thing. It's huge. This is the Paper Girls cover to that collection I just showed, that uh, compendium that uh, collects the entire series. Here it is, and the way Cliff drew it, you can see, um, and there's even a, uh, there's a faint line here. He drew it to the proportions of the book. So this is the actual jacket. Um, this is probably uh, as key a Paper Girls piece as uh, you're gonna find, as we've ever had. And this will be going into our all cover drop. Um, it will not be cheap. I mean, I'm just going to tell you that now. Uh, but if there's ever a one and done Paper Girls piece, this is it right here. And this thing is a monster. Okay, you guys, uh, enjoy that for a second. I'm going to read your comments. Marcus Way says, four segments like X-Men 1. Yeah, it is like X-Men 1. I wonder if I should use that as a comp. Um, awesome, wonderful, love Pogo. Cover drop, R. Adams, X-Men Annual. Thank you, Rick. Thanks for confirming that. Um, Top-notch dude, that Cliff. He really is. He really is. Class act. Okay. Worth more than the first ink blot Spidey. It is to me, Jersey Lambo. Kwong Lee says, time for a Lambert and Felix solo series. Uh, yes, and and uh, and uh, Yams, too. And uh, the proposed title uh, is ABCs, The Asian Bros of Crime. I just came up with that. Uh, let's see, key issue. Yes, very much a key issue, Perger. We still haven't said your name. Um, oh, did uh, did, did uh, Ryan Sook have to leave? I'm sorry. Thanks for coming by, Ryan. Thank you. Rick Yankowski asks, Cliff was an editor, was he not? Yes, he started off as an editor at DC while he was honing his art skills. And then uh, one day he turned in his sample, he showed his portfolio, and, and they hired him on the spot because he was so good. Dylan Hoover says, I have both Lonely City issues, but sadly haven't been able to start reading them yet. Well, I'm sorry to have spoiled the big reveal. Um, first appearance of the ABCs, but uh, now you know to treat that second issue, especially uh, with kid gloves, like, you know, put on those uh, cotton gloves, so you don't smudge the covers. It's gonna be worth $10 million with our SIGs. Okay, guys, I think, uh, what time we got? 8.25. I try to keep these things to an hour and a half. We got five minutes left for our last box. Dang, time flies when you're having fun. 
Let's get to that last box. And here we go. This thing is a freaking beast. The biggest box of the night uh, from FedEx. Look at this. This, I can tell, is a pro job by FedEx. Whoever sent this to me took this to the FedEx store, had them pack it up. It feels quite solid. You can tell uh, it's their box. They always slap on this uh, these stickers on here. You can tell it's a pro job. So let's go. Who we got? Uh, we got uh, Sook, DWJ, Steven Sook. Fleeks and Forstner. Uh, you know what? A lot of people have been guessing Fleeks and Forstner. And uh, I'm not sure uh, what gave it away. I'm guessing uh, either Tony or Trish maybe mentioned it. This is indeed, this is the box from Tony Fleeks and Trish Forstner. Who, uh, why Tony Fleeks and Trish Forstner? Uh, I don't remember you repping them, Felix. Yes, I don't technically rep them, but I am helping them sell their art. So um, congrats to uh, congrats to Van Gar. Um, you are the first person to guess uh, Fleeks and Forstner. And I was almost going to put up that, uh, I was almost gonna be sneaky and put up that Frazetta again for people to guess. It's a good thing I didn't because <laughs> people already knew. Cheaters, cheaters. All right. Uh, we have other fleeks and forth. Yeah, we got we got Tony and Trish fans in the audience. So I'm guessing one of them must have said something on their socials. Uh, this is the box from Tony Fleeks featuring the art of Tony Fleeks and Trish Forstner. Uh, what are Tony Fleeks and Trish Forstner famous for? Well, they're famous for their series, which is called Stray Dogs. Oh, it came out from what? They're in the audience. Too. They're in the audience. Oh hey guys! All right, thanks for thanks for tuning in. We saved your box for last. It's exciting. Okay, so I think I may have talked about this before. I met Tony years and years ago because he was studio mates with Chris Burnham, whose art we just showed earlier. Uh, they were both based out of uh, L.A. and uh, I, I met Tony there. Super nice guy, but uh, you know, no real opportunity to rep him because he's primarily digital artist. Well, uh, last year he reached out and said, hey, you know, I'm working on this book. It's pretty popular. I've got coverage. You want to help me sell them? And it just so happened I had a lull on my schedule, and I like Tony, so I said, sure. Figuring I, I was doing him a favor. I had no idea just how popular this book is. Again, it's called Stray Dogs. If you know, you know. If you don't know, uh, you can get the trade now. The first trade is out. Um, I, how do I describe it? It is a, wow, look, look at all this bubble wrap, guys. This art is uh, very well protected. So it is a series um, centered around a group of dogs. And it's, it's, it's drawn in a classic animated style, kind of uh, Don Bluth um, inspired, I guess. So you can see the Don Bluth influence. The Don Bluth, very famous. Uh, animator from the 70s and 80s, probably most famous for uh, Secret of Nim, All Dogs Go to Heaven, and of course the video games uh, Dragon's Lair and Space Ace. If I say that, you probably know what I'm talking about now. So this uh, Stray Dogs is a, it's kind of a mystery story with some horror elements. I don't want to give too much away because uh, I, I did end up reading it. Um, and it's a really fun read. Uh, so as it turns out, like I said, I, had, I had really had no clue just how popular this uh, this book was and what a what, you know how dedicated the fandom is to it. But uh, on, you know, Tony pointed me to a couple of fan groups I joined, and and the, and these guys are rabid, uh, no pun intended. And uh, when I put up the art, lo and behold, some of the biggest artists in the hobby. We're after the, the covers. So again, um, caught me by surprise, but a nice surprise. And congratulations to Tony and Trish on the success of Stray Dogs. Um, there is a new book out now called uh, Dog Days, I believe. It's just a couple of issues, but there's you know, more Stray Dog stories. I think fans have been very excited about that. Um, 
There is, of course, a uh, media deal in the works, film TV deal. So I just, you know, when Tony sent me this, he said, you know, we could have some big news to announce soon. So not sure timing wise about selling the art, but uh, he sent it to me anyway, just so we can get it scanned and prepped and, and ready to go. Uh, we may wait for the news, for the big news announcement, or we may just do the drop. In any case, we'll let you all know via the email newsletter as usual. But uh, yeah, exciting stuff. Exciting stuff. And especially you Stray Dog fans are probably super curious about like what uh, what's 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 all included in here. If you know the covers, you know they're all takes. On horror movie classics. So I'm guessing we're going to uh, see more of those. And let's see how good I am with with horror movies. You already know you can't stump me on Hong Kong movies. Marcus tries really hard, but he can't do it. Let's see how good I am with classic horror movie images. Who's gonna Who's gonna bet against me? You You can. I'll tell you right now, it's a bad bet, though. All right. Wow. See, it looks like Tony constructed his own little box here. It's pretty nice. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I guess it's, uh, it's like free gift day for, for Felix today. Another free book, another gift. Thank you, Felix. Thank you, Tony. Uh, this is uh, Stray Dogs with uh, it's like uh, you know some 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 gold ink. It looks uh, looks quite nice. I hope this is not anything too special or expensive, Tony. Uh, but I really do appreciate it. Thanks a lot. Thank you. Okay, there's a. Yeah, made sure to test your to a piece of masonite. Good job. We certainly can't argue with the, the packing job. That, that thing was bulletproof. And I'm going to give it the packing job of the night award. You get the uh, you get the blue ribbon, Tony. Yes, it, you, you paid for it. It's like paying someone to take a test for you, but you still win. All that matters to me are the results. I don't care how, how it happens. You pay someone to do it, it's fine. Yep, you, uh, you bought yourself a blue ribbon. All right, let's take a look at this. Right. Take a look at this. Wow, there are a gazillion, gazillion covers in here. Let's start off with uh, here's a uh, here's a Vengeance of Vampirella cover, which is I think technically not a Stray Dogs cover, but uh, it may as well be. It's like or Vengeance of Vampirella for Dynamite. So you guys have to say about that. Okay. Uh, here we have a Dog Days number one cover. You know, uh, okay, I said you couldn't stump me. Yeah, you stumped me. It looks a little like, uh, I don't know, like I, I know what you did last summer. Is that it? I know what you did last summer. Did I get it? Okay, now, when, when, when we get past like the 60s, 70s, and 80s, um, if we get anything newer than that, then I probably won't get it. But uh, yeah, that's my guess. Oh boy, gotta love this one. Army of Darkness, Bruce Campbell as Ash, with uh, with doggies. Here's a Red Sonia cover. Army of Darkness, good one, good one, Samuel. You're hired. 
I never saw Balto, but this does remind me of. I know what the character looked like. It's a little Balto ish right there. Uh, wow. Well, um, I might have gotten this one, but it kind of, uh, kind of uh, gave it away. I'm not going to lie. There's, I can see there's a faint Pan's Labyrinth back here. Um, Pan's Labyrinth, which uh, may be uh, relevant to our comic art podcast, and that's all I'm going to say. But cool. Gotta love these. Dog Days number two. Uh, again, um, cheating, I can see very faint. Drag Me to Hell, but I have seen that movie. It's a Sam Raimi. Pretty good. Uh, this is uh, an homage to uh, Krampus. I'm totally cheating. You can see it. Uh, let's see. This is, of course, uh, this is, of course, The Exorcist. Like I said, 60s, 70s, and 80s. I separated each cover with uh, uh, this, this material here, which is nice. Um, okay. Uh, this is, uh, of course, uh, Alien. The first movie, Ridley Scott, 1979. This one... Uh, I'm not sure about this one. I'm not sure if this is an original cover or this is referencing something. If you are old enough to remember, um, was it For Your Eyes Only? Or uh, the other one, the one that's in Greece? For Your Eyes Only. That's For Your Eyes Only? Yeah. yeah. Remember the For Your Eyes Only poster? Mm -hmm. So the, the girl's legs and then 007 in the middle, but I know that's not it. Not an homage. Thank you, Patricia. I'm, my, my, my record is still intact. Here we go. Uh, Stray Dogs, Dog Days. I guess this is a Evil Dead because of the, the chainsaw and then that book. Dude, this is so, so many covers here. Dog Day fans, congratulations. Tons and tons of covers. This is a paranormal activity. I got this one. Uh, this is a uh, Goosebumps reference, and the only reason I know that is because I see the uh, I see that it's uh, there. Uh, is this uh, is this basket case? Frank Henenlotter's basket case, which is. Uh, Cool low budget flick from '82. Now you guys can tell me. She said yes. All right. Um, this one, this one, I'm not sure. It's a little. It's like it's like a, you know these lineup. Uh, it, you know this this sort of layout. They they did a lot in the '90s. You know, like Halloween H2O, uh, Scream, etc. But this one, I'm I'm not entirely sure. What it is, but it's cool. Love that skull in the background. Final destination. Thank you. See, that's see. Once we get past the eighties, that's it's nineties, or maybe early aughts. That's early aughts. Final destination. Uh, Elvira, Mistress of the Dark. Nineteen eighty-seven. We're still in the eighties. I'm good. Here's All Dogs Go to Heaven. So we move away from the uh, horror movie references, but this is, of course, the classic. Oh, this is great. This is uh, Shaun of the Dead. And you know, because he's got that uh, cricket paddle. And you got the dude with the shovel. Uh, 
Uh, Trish says, favorite is all dogs. It's so good. This is her favorite. You heard it. Trish Forstner's favorite. Oh, boy. Uh, this is great. So if you are a comics fan, of course, this is what is now the, the iconic indie uh, cover of the 21st century, probably. Uh, the Walking Dead number one by Tony Moore. If the original art for that cover ever shows up, oh boy. But this is great. Uh, I am, uh, I'm stumped on this one. Samuel says Kirkman has it in his vault prom. Samuel, uh, my understanding is Tony has that cover. You guys can help me out with this. Oh, the ring. Thank you. The ring. Yeah, ring. 2003. 2002? Uh, actually, I, was, I think it was like PG-13, but surprisingly, uh, some very effective scares. I saw that in the theater. Okay, uh, I'm not sure about this one. But I know you guys will get it. Uh, the Creator Foil Exclusive, which was the book that uh, got included in this package. Thank you very much, guys. This must be it. another goosebumps okay uh, I'm gonna guess this is an, an all original because this references uh, this references the comic the actual comic yeah we're a little we're a little fuzzy here any idea what's happening don't mess with this so we get don't get turned off like when Jason shows up sorry guys yeah it's a little fuzzy right now we uh not sure what's going on with the uh, connection. I mean, nothing wrong with the camera, so. Okay, is it is it clear? It's clear through the camera, right? Yeah, it's clear up here. So okay. It's the. Well, uh, we are doing the best we can, guys. Let's hope uh, it clears up. But if it doesn't, I'll hold it up a little higher. Let's see. Uh, oh, this is cool, and this is labeled. This is the Image Comics Christmas card art. Yeah, it's uh, it's not too clear, guys, and I'm sorry about that. But I'll, I'll hold it up and maybe you can get an idea at least. Well, I think we got through most of these before the camera f went fuzzy on us. And uh, if you can't quite see these, then consider it a surprise when they drop. Just a couple more to go. Uh, I'm not sure what this one is. It's maybe Pet Cemetery. I'm not sure. What do you think? Pet Cemetery. It's Pet Cemetery. That's what I was. That's that would have been my guess. Oh, boom! This one is the cover after my own heart because this is Reanimator. This is, of course, uh, Stuart Gordon's classic from 1985, Reanimator, one of my all-time favorite horror flicks. One of my all-time favorite flicks, period. Oh, another Walking Dead. Yeah, this was a, this was a Walking Dead cover. Mm -hmm. This was an Adler Walking Dead cover. Okay, cool. But uh, this is Reanimator. And last but not least, uh, oh, I was hoping to go out on a on a winner, but I'm a little stumped here. So Trish, you're gonna have to tell me what this is, and I'm sorry you guys can't really see. Um, 
But there you go. That's all of them. That's all of them. There's a whole lot of them here. We sold out of every single one of these uh, at our first drop. And I imagine the second drop is going to go really well, too. Uh, again, I don't know when these will be available. It's still something I need to finalize with Tony. But at least you got to see him. You know what's coming up. And uh, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe to the newsletter. It's really your only chance. Um, and, you know, no hype. Competition for these things is going to be fierce. Um, and, and it's, it's, it's all you can do is just be first. And, you know, there are big collectors who are after these things. Okay. Um, that's it. Uh, we went a little over, uh, hour 45, but thank you so much everyone for tuning in. Thank you to all the creators who showed up. Ryan Sook, Sanford Green, uh, Tony and Trish. Uh, and anyone else, you know, uh, you got to see a lot tonight. Eight boxes of incredible art. Uh, we got tons of prizes. And you know what? You know what? We got one more prize. I announced we were gonna we were gonna give one more prize away, and it's gonna be this. It's gonna be uh, this Daniel Warren Johnson print, uh, which we sold out of. Uh, but um, it's signed by Daniel, and he sketched Beta Ray Bill on it. That's original sketch. This is uh, a print with original art. You get the best of both worlds. We are giving this thing away for free. How are we giving this away? No more guessing required. All you had to do was participate in our chat. Uh, this is our reward for those who participated in the chat. Was participate in our chat. Okay. Uh, this is our okay. reward Hang for on a those second. Participate you, maybe turn off the uh, the video. Or turn off the YouTube because remember we want the we want the sound on the. Uh, oh yeah, I, I turned it. I turned it off. Oh wait, wait, wait. No, you didn't. Oh, there you go. There we go. Okay. All right. So if you watched our last show, you saw us uh, spin the wheel, uh, find out who the winner is, and uh, what Yams did is while I was doing the show, he entered in everyone's name like we did last time for the Daniel Warren Johnson holiday sketch giveaway. So everyone who has commented is entered and we are not going to spin once, but we are going to spin eight times, eight times in uh, honor of our biggest unboxing yet. So do the honors, Yams, spin number one. Okay, we're going to go, we're going to spin again. Spin number two. Ooh. Chuck White came up. Sorry, Chuck. You didn't win because we're going to go eight times. Spin number three. Ooh. David Escani song. Here's spin number three, but we got more spins. Spin number four. The first spin was someone named Camden. Uh, Dachi M. Dasha M. Okay, this is spin number five. Ooh. Vin Gore, spin number six. Rick Yankowski, spin number seven. Ooh. Ian St. And now the last and final spin. For the winner of the DWG, DWJ signed and sketched print. Let's go. This is the winner here. Who's it going to be? No one on my shit list, I hope. Uh, winner is Y Lashy. Y Lashy. L A C H Y. Y Lashy. Make sure you write me uh, via email. All the winners tonight, write me via email. Whether you're domestic or international, you will get your prize. I will send it to you. Again, thank you, everyone, for joining us on a Sunday night. Uh, go Niners. Uh, ha Ha Cowboys. Uh, thanks again. And uh, see you guys next week or next time, whenever we get more boxes. Probably not eight again. Thanks, guys. Thank you.